Thanks for joining me today. My name is Dakota. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me for a few minutes today as we dive into God's Word. Um, I just encourage you today as we talk about this topic of temptation, um, as we have been the last couple of days, um, I really want us to focus on what uh, God has given us in terms of His Holy Spirit um, and believers around us uh, when it comes to this topic of temptation and how we can uh, overcome through the power of God. So we're going to jump, jump in first, Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 5. And just for some context here, uh, this is one of the many books that Paul wrote. Um, and he is actually writing to Timothy here, uh, talking about the ministry that they've done. And he has some concerns. And there is a very specific reason as to why um, in verse 5 here. So we're going to read this. Um, and then we're just going to talk about what we can do as believers to make sure um, that we are living a life um, that is improving, uh, that is getting better, and that is overcoming temptation. Um, so verse 5 in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 says, or says this, For this reason, when I could endure it no longer, I was sent to find out about your faith, for fear that the tempter might have tempted you and our labor would be in vain. Um, I think this is such um, an amazing view or look into uh, Paul and his real concern and um, passion for getting the word of God, uh, the gospel to all believers. Um, his worry here uh, that he is very well aware of who the tempter is. Uh, the tempter is the devil. The tempter is Satan. Um, in our lives, we have many areas, um, and it, for all of us, it's different. It's different areas of our life where we're tempted. Um, we're tempted financially. We're tempted um, with our anger, with our, with our um, passion for certain things. Um, the devil uses that and twists, twists that uh, for not good things. And so Paul here is concerned that what is going on um, where Timothy is, there may be some temptation going on. And he writes to Timothy and says, I'm going to come out there and see you because I know how powerful the devil can be. And I want to make sure that we are holding each other accountable. Um, so that's where I kind of want to go next in this is, okay, we're being tempted. That's going to happen. The Christian life is not easy. In fact, it's pretty tough. You're going to be tempted more because you serve a God, the only God um, that is powerful and has already defeated the devil. He's going to do everything he can to make you want to feel down on yourself, um, negative thoughts that you're not good enough, all these different twists and manipulations. That's what the devil does. But I think it's so interesting here that Paul refers to Satan as the tempter. Um, he may not do some extravagant event to show himself, but he will do little things to tempt you over and over and over and over again. And so what's our fail safe, right? We have God in our life to always be there. The Holy Spirit is with you. He encourages you. He will walk side by side you through anything and we can get through anything because we have Christ in our lives. But God also put, and this is where I, what is so beautiful about this verse, I think, is that Paul and Timothy are working together here. Paul says, I'm not going to let you do this alone. Hey, I'm going to come out there. I'm, I'm worried about you because um, I know how the devil works. I know that he can tempt you. So Paul comes in. Um, and so for our lives, who are those people in your lives? Who are the people that are holding you accountable? Accountability is such an amazing thing. Um, it's so important. Who are the people in your life that you can go to and talk to and say, hey, this is what I'm going through. This is how I'm being tempted. Um, what would you do? Or how can you help me? Um, and we need to have those people in our lives. Um, just like it says in scripture as well, iron sharpens iron. Um, we need people in our lives to be there to support us where we can go to um, not, with nothing held back saying, hey, the tempter is here. Um, in, our, in our small group of 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 married couples that we have uh, here at Sun Valley, the group that I'm in, great group of people. Um, one of the topics one night was about, we talked about uh, foxes 
in our life. Foxes that will come in and try to um, tempt things in our marriage or our relationship with our, our families. Um, we all have these foxes, right, that come up. But what are we doing when we recognize it? Are we seeing it and taking care of it? Or do we see it and ignore it? Because if we ignore it, that's when the foxes, that's when the tempter can move in and take advantage of that situation. Um, so today, really think about who are the people in your life that you can go to. And if you don't have those people, one, why not? And two, let's get on it. My challenge you today, my challenge to you today is even Paul, um, who wrote <laughs> most of the Bible, um, saw in his friend that, hey, I trust you with my min the ministry of Jesus Christ to go out and preach, but you might be tempted. Let me help you. Um, Jesus, as we've talked about, was tempted in the desert, right? Who did he call on? Well, the Holy Spirit. Who, who was in your life around you, sitting next to you, going through life with you that you can say, brother, sister, I need help? And also, are you being that encouragement and help to the people around you that need it? Seeing a brother or sister that's going through some temptation or some hard struggles, are you reaching out to them saying, hey, I'm here? And maybe that's all I need to hear. I know for me, if, you know, a friend of mine reached out to me, hey, you're not yourself. You know, is there something you're going through? I can, I can say whatever I want to that person because it's for the glory of God to get better. And so I encourage uh, you today to find those people in your life. Um, to get encouragement from, to help you through that temptation, but also vice versa, to help others. That may be something that you've been through. And we talk so much here at Sun Valley about how your story, your testimony can really help somebody in ways we can't imagine. Just by a simple comment, a simple hug. Hey, I've been there. Let's talk. So thank you guys for spending a few minutes with me today. Um, this is such an important topic because... In the world we live in today, there's temptation around every corner. Um, every device we hold in our hand, every word we say, every movie we watch, everything around us is tempting us. The tempter is real. The tempter is there, and he will use any tactic that he sees fit to try to get into our lives. The fox will try to get into the sheep's quarters. Um, so may we reach out to the people around us. Uh, may you be encouraged today that you are worth it that you can overcome whatever you're uh, going through today. So thank you guys for joining me today. Um, and let's say a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today, God. Um, thank you for every single person listening and watching today. Um, no matter where they're at, what they've done or what's been done to them, I pray that um, they know that they are worth it, God, that you created them unique. And no matter how much the tempter is knocking at that door, God, they do not have to answer. The only voice they need to hear is yours, God. I pray that they can push out the noise that we all can, that we can push out the noise of the world, that we hear your voice first, and that we follow that path. God, I just pray that um, if anyone is going through some really hard times right now, they can see the people in their lives that are there. And for, uh, for those of us um, also that we just recognize when people are in need and that we hear your voice to help God, thank you for Sun Valley. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to just to share your gospel and your words today. God, thank you um, for everything you do for us. And may we recognize when the tempter is there and that your power overcomes that voice. In Jesus' name, amen.